Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wedding Team Collective. Again, my name is Catherine, and I have with me Kim Sacred with A Perfect Wedding Dance. Welcome, Kim. Thank you. So happy to have you. Happy um, to be here. A wedding dance is something that I think sometimes gets looked over, but it is one of the most special times in your wedding, and there are a lot of different times besides just the first dance um, to get to know um about yourselves and show it off to your guests. So to get us a little more information about yourself, will you introduce yourself and kind of how long you've been doing this? Sure. So um, I'm actually a certified ballroom Latin and swing instructor. And I've been, I started a perfect wedding dance about 23 years ago. Ooh, that's wow. amazing. So what I, but the reason why I did is I, I love partner dancing and I love the wedding industry. And I, there at that time, nobody was really focusing and honing in on wedding dances. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were just, oh, first dance, a first dance. But it, I, I just wanted to make it a business. I felt a passion for people who didn't have dance training prior to your first dance. So how can I make this stress-free, beautiful dances? And um, and that that's kind of how, how it all began and fell into going the lab. Strong. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's the best part is that your passion for it shines and it. Um, it makes it you know, a better experience because you're working with someone who loves exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So a great example of that is in your teaching style. Mm -hmm. So um, obviously people, when they meet you, they know the warm, friendly atmosphere, but mm -hmm. sometimes dance instructors switch and then you're like, whoa, what am <laughs> I, what's going on in this room? So um, I know that you are just the same in your teaching style. So what are some of the techniques that you use when you're teaching um, to make it more comfortable? Okay, great question. So um, I, the most important thing is having an open mind. I know that you're, some people are walking in and, and feeling scared, worried, like I can't dance, I have to do this dance. So the first thing I want to do is just relax, get you relaxed, open mind. I use a lot of humor. <laughs> I, I And people laugh. And as soon as you laugh, you kind of just get a little stress free. I have some fun tools that I use. I literally have footsteps that I put on the floor. I would need those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that you could follow. I even have like a, a LED laser pointer Perfect. to show like the design of the step on the floor. That's helpful. And then my favorite part mm. is the hula hoop. <laughs> <laughs> I bring out a hula hoop and uh, I use it as a technique for you to understand how to move together in partnership with your partner. And there are some um, things about the hula hoop that I make uh, comments on that you get the idea. And then, of course, I take it away yeah. and then I connect you and, and it so total I make sense. it fun. Yeah, because I think sometimes you don't realize how close you should be to someone or how your spacing should be when dancing. Right. So I think that's a great tool. Um, one of the things that comes with this is designing a dance. Mm -hmm. uh, what dance are you going to choose? And we're going to go through a yeah. lot of different styles and themes and all the details. But when designing mm -hmm. a dance to fit you and it's maybe it's not that first dance, it's a mother, daughter, um, mother, son, all those different dances, mm -hmm. father, daughter, um, What's kind of the process that gets started and what are some of the features that you use when designing a dance? So it all starts with the, your song or songs. So your song or songs, because a lot of people are doing music mashups these days, yes, which are those. a lot of fun. Um, it has every song has a rhythm. So the first thing I have to do as a dance instructor is find a step pattern that, that, uh, can that goes with the rhythm of that song. Also, what I keep in mind is the size of your floor, the amount of time you want to invest mm -hmm. in the dance. All of these factors have so much to do with it, as well as theme or look and feel of your wedding, because sometimes True. there are songs that you have, you there's a variety of uh, kind of foundation step patterns that I can use, but I want to make sure that you're moving in the way that you envisioned. It's all about Sarah. what you're picturing here and that I can bring that across between the two of you and moving in harmony. So 
Did I answer the question? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. We love that. So one thing is that Kim partnered um, with Las Vegas, the city of Las Vegas, to show you a little bit behind the scenes of building a dance and how that comes into play. So we're going to play that video for you. I think it's a spectacular video that shows um, Kim in action and also what ends up happening at the end um, for the couple and how that process was for them um, when learning to dance. So this is that video. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm Kim Sigrin. I just, I just specialize, specialize in wedding, in wedding dances. dances. Las Vegas, Las Vegas can, provide can provide everything, everything from, from soup to nuts, to nuts for a for wedding. A wedding. <laughs> Okay, here we, okay go. here we go. One, one, two, three. So if I were to rate myself from one to one ten, 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 ten being the best, best as, a as a dancer, I would, I would, I would, say, I would like say like three. three. <laughs> when I was, when ten, I was years ten years old, old I, saw I saw the sound, sound of music. Of music. He's got the tux on, he's got his white gloves on. And, and in one, in of, the one scenes, of the scenes, they started, they started doing, doing this, this certain kind of dance. dance. I'm like, oh, I like it. I've been planning this wedding since, since I was 10, my dream, dream wedding. wedding. It was, it like, was like already, already like, four like four to six, six weeks, weeks after, after we first met. First met. Um, um, I, I just had that general feeling, feeling that, that she's, she's the right, the right person. person. Other than, Other than the dance dances, dance dance, we have we never, never ever danced, danced before, before together, together in any dance. dance. So it's, so it's the first, the first time. time. The first, the first dance, dance is, is that, that next, next moment. moment. It's that, it's that entrance, entrance into the party, party the reception, reception celebrating, celebrating the union. union. And, and so it's, it's sealing, sealing the, deal the deal in movement. In movement. There's another, another side, side to, Vegas to Vegas besides, besides just the strip. strip. There's no, There's other, no city other city in the, in the world that has as many, many options as Vegas. Vegas. And, and that's why that's we at the end said, well, let's, let's just do it in our hometown. hometown. So that was a really beautiful video. I think it captures so much about Las Vegas, the fact that there are so many options and that Kim is the queen of Las Vegas <laughs> dancing, but you don't have to be just here in Las Vegas. Um, she can help you uh, learn some steps, even if you're outside and just in for a little bit of time. Um, one question that I'm seeing pop up a couple different times is about um, same-sex couples and that. So I want to get, quickly answer that just so it doesn't get um, lost as we're discussing. And I know Kim has quite a bit of background in that. Mm -hmm. And so um, although dance is appealing between two people, it doesn't um, matter. But obviously there are some uh, specifics that they probably have questions about. So what are some um, of your experience with that? So um, it just, it doesn't matter who you are. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Love is love. Love, right? love is love. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter who you are. Uh, I, one, one typically in a partnership, there's, there, there's a dominant uh, person or, or I, I break it down, you know, your typical word, language in ballroom is somebody leads and somebody follows, yeah. but that has a lot of emotional content. So <laughs> I just break it down to science. <laughs> and all that means is one person is the action and the other one is the reaction. Yeah. So they're moving maybe milliseconds before the other person. And that can switch throughout the dance, which I love as well. One person can take the True. lead and then the next mm -hmm. person as well. And it makes it such a beautiful interaction between the two. Yes. And as long as you both know what who's doing what it all works and that's what works. practice makes perfect right <laughs> so we wanted to briefly talk about some of the dance options because it's not just first dance and although we saw it in that beautiful video the first dance was so important to that bride um, mm -hmm. there are a lot of other options out there that make it really fun um, and so 
some of those would be uh, like a grand entrance or what is this date dance fakeouts that I'm oh, hearing about? Okay, great. So um, you can, so many things. You can choreograph, <clears throat> pardon me, your grand entrance. Uh, so you don't, you know, you can have just a grand entrance, obviously, and have some fun with it. Or we can specifically put a little choreography in there. So that's number one. A dance fake out um, is maybe starting with a, with a song and uh, showing that you really didn't have any dance lessons. Or maybe you had one. And so <laughs> you're, you're literally looking like Oh, that's sweet. And before before your guests start getting bored, <laughs> we break out into a fun song and that we basically fake them out. So that, that that's what I call a dance fake out. And I've yeah. done it several different ways. That's so fun because I feel like it could either go, I know in the past I've seen it where it's like soft and romantic and then it goes into bright and fun. It can also move into a different soft and romantic song, but it's very uh, choreographed and mm -hmm. a beautiful switch in the pace. So I absolutely so love that. Um, one thing I think is also important mm -hmm. is as you're doing family dances, however that is to you, it could be with a brother or a you know someone who's been one of your best friends for right. years and you want to build that um, bond with them during the wedding. Mm -hmm. um, I think a dance lesson, even just one with them. Oh, so if you buy a package of multiple, um, you will be able to uh, enjoy lots of different options um, with them. So for the different styles, what are some of the styles that we offer? So the styles, um, I basically, I, I teach all ballroom Latin swing, also hip hop, some jazz moves, like what I call iconic dance moves. If we're doing some decade dancing that, you know, everybody loves. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but people do. Some people yeah, do. Absolutely. Some people. So I put in what you're looking for. Absolutely. Also, I have something called my, Kim's ballroom step, my ballroom step hack. So I, I kind of hacked a ballroom step and rhythm. So that um, uh, because I was finding through the years that a lot of songs that are presented are not necessarily um, uh, fitting ballroom tip, your, your traditional ballroom steps. Mm -hmm. So I took a ballroom step, I hacked it, and I have people moving smoothly to the beat of the music that, that we can do in a short amount of time in, yeah. on a smaller dance floor. Perfect. So for song selection, we had discussed it a little bit in the beginning, but it's important to choose a song that matches the feel of not only the, the dance steps itself, but of, of your wedding. Um, yeah. So if you're having more of a light and airy wedding, or you know if you're having something a little more dark and romantic, you want to think about that. But then also, does that song have any special meaning to you? Um, I feel like there's a song that can match perfectly with your love story. Um, so you can you can make any song into a dance song, right? Oh, I, I have done it. I have okay. done it. I have people, because I don't want anybody to change their song just because, oh, it doesn't fit a traditional ballroom step. Uh-uh. It, 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 your song is so important to you that you're, and you're going to be listening to it a lot if you're practicing to it. So mm -hmm. you want it to be, you, you want to, you want to be inspired. Yeah. You want you want your music to inspire you. Now, some people want uh, the the groom may have uh, like different kind of music than the bride likes, or mm -hmm. or you know, or the bride one bride likes different kind of music than the other bride. It, exactly. does, it doesn't matter who you are. Right. But if you have different tastes, that's where some of those music mashups I think work really great because yeah. then we get everybody's personality out there. And I also always want the couple's personality. Yeah. Because I feel like there's always three. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Because, you know, if it was up to me, my husband would probably choose Elvis. I would not. And uh, I would probably choose something like light and guitar. So we can make that happen. Uh, whatever is <laughs> going to work for you. So when it comes to learning a dance and deciding what are the steps to make a perfect dance, um, we got to think about timing and kind of what that is, because anything you love, you have to dedicate time yes. to. Yeah. But what's great about Kim's, you don't have to dedicate your whole life to it. You can right. just dedicate some time to accomplish that. So when it comes to like a first dance or just a couple dance, like a family dance, it was just me and my dad. What would it be an expectation of just a traditional sort of uh, a style of dance? No super fancy moves, like just, right. just a little make I me look nice. Totally, <laughs> totally have that. Again, it's going to depend on the song. 
we start with the song. Let me listen to the rhythm, that beat of that song. And uh, again, I can sort of chop up a ballroom step and just do something easy because if, uh, but then again, I'll, I'll have some father daughter dances that they want to well, light up the floor. <laughs> they want to light it up. So it just really, it, it, it will depend on how, on the investment of time mm -hmm. and, uh, the, and the look and feel that you're going for. And, you know, and that, that determines it which that, makes total mm -hmm. sense. And what I love about what Kim offers is that with the packages, so you can see the different options here of the number of lessons, but let's say that I were to purchase six lessons and it ends up, I am just a master dancer and it only takes me three lessons to really get that down. Mm -hmm. You can actually use your other lessons toward other dance options. Yes. So you can bring in that parent to mm -hmm. one lesson just so he feels or she feels more comfortable dancing with you. Um, or if you wanted to, I know that if you do a party start which are so fun. Um, you have options of doing some pre-dance and then recording that for a larger group. So tell me a little bit about that. Okay. So um, just to just so so when you were talking about the packages, you mm -hmm. can purchase a package and then share it to other have other dances within that package. You don't mm -hmm. doesn't have to just be your first dance. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. The party starter. What the what uh, I sort of named the party starter was. Let's say you already did your first dance, and all the family dances are out of the way, and then we want to kick in the party. It's just That's where the that, best that, part. that that is, <laughs> and nobody's expecting any other dances. Mm -hmm. So you, I have done it where I've we've done a flash mob where it's your guests or, or and or wedding party that surprises everybody. Uh, I've done it where it just is a group dance and we just get up there and do it. I've done just the bride and groom. I've done just the family. So, and it doesn't have, it, the party starter doesn't have to be a long dance. It could be a right. minute. Mm -hmm. And then it, and then the DJ and it, the DJs love it because then we've got, we've Everybody's picked up there. the energy <laughs> and then we just invite people up on the floor. That's so fun. And I love that because I feel like it gives people the opportunity to, you know, to really get that party started, to give the atmosphere of what they want for their event. So true. One thing that you do that honestly I think is invaluable is a instructional video that is included. So with your dancing, mm -hmm. explain a little bit of what you do um, sure. to make sure that you never forget a step. Right. So at the end of every single lesson, and I say the end, I mean, there's times so I'll say, okay, give me your phone and I will, I will hold up your phone and we will video what you are learning, but I'll do it at strategic times in the lesson because you don't want an hour <laughs> of footage. It's a long video to watch. Exactly. So, so I'll, I do it at strategic times. Uh, uh, and you hear my instruction through it, you could hear me counting. If you needed to for me to demo your step, then I would do that so you can watch how I'm doing it. So we go back and forth So you. This is what I call your video dance diary. Okay. So after every single lesson, you have this video dance diary building up to your full dance on your phone at the end, mm -hmm. but uh, it is, it extends the value of your lessons because now you can you can even sit back and look at it objectively as well. You know, sometimes when you're in it, you don't see everything. Mm -hmm. So now you have you can and and yeah. being that my studio is completely private, it's just the three of us on the floor. It that also helps for the comfort level as well as you know we don't have to worry about anybody else getting in the video. Exactly, <laughs> you're not you're not capturing anyone else on accident. <laughs> So a couple of things that we wanted to discuss as always. So with pricing, it is based on those packages, but then you can always add on or, um, you know, get, you can add on more packages if you need it or adjust it based upgrade. on. Yeah, yeah exactly. you can upgrade your package. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And so once you've chosen one, it's not like that's it. Watch your hands. You can absolutely right. continue to do that. They range between about $2.99 and $7.99 per couple, just depending on um, what your need is. And so that's helpful um, to get a better idea. But when you think about the value in that is that it's not just um, 
your wedding day dancing. It's like, I think about all the times I've been to a wedding and then everybody's like, oh, let's all slow dance. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, it's so exciting to know that I have a comfort mm -hmm. level now and I have an ability to, to feel comfortable out when I'm on that dance floor with everyone else. So um, I know the pricing can adjust based on group sizes and other things like that. Too. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, uh, if we're doing a group dance, that that's different pricing. Mm -hmm. It's not a package price. It just depends on uh, how many people uh, and um, yes, and how because sometimes I have done I have done groups. Uh, I think I told you from uh, that have come in a wedding that comes in a destination wedding that they're having here in Vegas. And I, I had um, I did a group dance for the uh, the groomsmen going down the aisle for the ceremony only. And okay. then and then for the uh, bridesmaids to go down the aisle for the ceremony and we choreographed it and used the, the bouquets with, for, as part of the choreography. So that was different because mm -hmm. I didn't see them just for an hour. We did a two hour. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and it was course, last and it was mm -hmm. last minute. I know. Yes, so, um, you know, and Kim can make that happen for you because at your your day is most important. Mm -hmm. And as we've been talking so about all day today, uh, COVID is here. It is not a pretend thing and it's part of our life unfortunately. Um, so some of the things that have changed is that obviously masks are required in yes. all dance lessons. And mm -hmm. again, today we don't have them on for this video. We are distancing, um, but that is just because we want you to hear us clearly. But um, some of the other things that you're doing is that you're leaving space between lessons um, yes. to be able to clean. Yes. Yeah. That you, not, not that you didn't do that before, no. to be honest. <laughs> Actually, I did a lot. But <laughs> now it's even, I, I'm putting more space between the lessons and maybe scrubbing a little bit more. <laughs> but, but, and uh, and lots of Lysol. But anyway, uh, also I have, uh, you at, where you sit, there's, I have sanitizer, I have sanitizer where I am. We all use the sanitizer during the lesson. I, Feel free. I have a sink if you need to wash your hands. And um, I'm not on top of of the couple uh, like 100 percent of the time. Mm -hmm. You're mostly dancing and doing doing your dance. Mm -hmm. I'm coming in and getting a little closer at certain strategic times that I ha absolutely have to because the, your dance is about how you feel it, not just how you see it. Right. So I have to get in there and help you feel it. And But as soon as you get it, then I back off and you're doing your thing. And, and so we can keep a good amount of distance, but there are times that I ha we have to narrow that six foot gap. So that's yeah. why, yeah. Which is fair, because you want to know how that feels, you know, and she wants to make sure that you've yeah, got that just you right. Uh, video chat consultations are available. Yes. So if you're originally looking to uh, book and you still want to chat before yes. actually confirming your lesson, she's mm -hmm. absolutely available to do that. Availability. Um, mm -hmm. So right now she's looking for the 2021 weddings mm -hmm. as most vendors are. There is some availability if you have a last minute need. Um, so feel free to always ask. You can reach out directly to Kim at a perfect wedding dance.com. And then with date changes, um, lessons don't expire until the actual date of your wedding. So if you were to book, you know, let's say six lessons and then you've done, you know, you're going to do two. And then all of a sudden you find out you do need to move your date. That's okay. It'll extend out and then you'll continue to be able to use those lessons as it comes up before your wedding day. And then cancellation. Kim is amazing. Um, if you cancel due to COVID for any reason, she will refund your money to you, which yes. is wild. Um, I think that's amazing. I think it's extremely respectable. And um, these days, th things are so different. But um, if it was up to me, even if I canceled my wedding, I would still get some dance lessons, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so one thing that goes along with the partnership of pricing is that from a special offer with us here at Wedding Team Collective, she is offering a free extra lesson with any package purchase. If you mention Wedding Team Collective, um, which is amazing because you think about it, it's like, you know what, just knowing I have one extra lesson added onto that, what a value. And also um, you can also use that as a, another special um, one. So if you, you bought a package and you're using that all for say uh, your first dance, then you can add another one on um, just for maybe for a family dance or something yeah, like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. You can do it that way. Or if you, if you learn your uh, dance, uh, get it finished in like about two months before the wedding. Use that as a refresher, like the, 
couple weeks before the wedding. So I yeah, yeah. So I I, that. those refresher lessons are good. Those are ideal. <laughs> so we got a couple questions asked before sure. um, we went live. So one of those is, what if you think you're a terrible dancer? Okay. What's what's what what can you do for me? <laughs> uh, I am here to conquer those fears. Perfect. I I anybody can dance. I I can I have full confidence in what I do that I can get you moving with your significant other. I I'm even if you feel like you can't hear the beat, I have all kinds of tricks and up my sleeve that I can get you moving regardless. Uh, yep. That's important. So <laughs> no fear. Don't do not fear. Kim right. is here. And if you yeah, there you go. <laughs> and if you do, we'll conquer it together. Exactly. I will help you. <laughs> and then the other question we had was, can you help me with the last minute crash course? What if this is, I have a wedding and you know, I'm getting married and I have a dance and I don't know what to do. Is there a, a quick option to be able to just make sure I don't look a fool? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when I call my drive through. Yes. <laughs> so, so if, uh, a crash course, but, uh, so typically, uh, uh, all the lessons are an hour long. Uh, but in what I call a crash course, we, I would do a 90 minute lesson okay. so I can put a little bit more in there. Um, and so to have done something rather than nothing is 10 times you'll, <laughs> yeah, you, you'll be so surprised at what I could do in such a short amount of time. I really can. I've gotten, <laughs> if I wasn't good before, I'm really good now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm really is, good. These at, days, you got to be better. Yeah, I just, I can get that information across and you get it and you understand it and um, you're enjoying it. That's the main thing. Perfect. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining us, Kim. A perfect wedding dance is exactly what is the perfect addition to your wedding day. Um, so please make sure to visit a perfect wedding dance.com and then make sure to mention for your free lesson. Once you book your package, just mention wedding team collective and Kim will make sure that you are dancing with not two left feet. We don't want that both of our feet correctly used. <laughs> Thank you for joining us guys and have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye. Bye. Thanks.